Hi teachers and staff. In this video, we are gonna walk through how a student removes themselves from their Google Classroom. Yes, currently with Google Classroom settings, students can remove themselves. And then what to do if a student removes themselves prematurely and you still have things you need from them or work you need to score in that Google Classroom. So first, starting on the student end, all a student does in order to remove themselves is they would click the three dots on the um, template here and select unenroll. Now, before I unenroll the student, I just wanna show you that the student does have a bunch of different things turned in. They have questions that have been completed. And then they have assignments that ha are missing. So what we're going to do is we are going to unenroll from this class, take a look at the impact to the teacher and see how we get that student's work. So now that the student has removed themselves from the classroom, I can see that I only have four things assigned. And as I click through the different assignments, I'm not seeing anything from that student. So the first thing I can do without the student even returning to the classroom is check my Google Drive class folder. So any files that the student completed, whether they were Google Slides, Google Forms, Google Docs, Sheets, Drawings, etc., all of that stuff will still be in your class drive folder. Also, if you had students go and complete assignments on another site, those assignments should still be located in that other site. In most cases, they don't have the ability to completely remove themselves from courses in that other site. I clicked on the link for Google Drive class folder. I'm allowing my folder to load. Once I get into that folder for that particular Google Classroom, I can navigate into any of the subfolders, which each assignment you create in Google Classroom ends up having a subfolder. And when I go into that subfolder, even though the student has removed themselves from the classroom, whatever work they had originally attached in Classroom will still be in these folders. So you can open up their original work through these folders in your Google Drive. Additionally, if you can't find what you need there and the student has those, the, the attachments that the student created will still be in their Google Drive. So you may need to work with the student, but going into their Google Drive will allow you to find those files as well if you cannot locate them in your Google Classroom folders. Luckily, probably the easiest thing to do is simply go back and re-invite the student back to your Google Classroom. Once you do that, we're going to take a look at that student side of things, and I'm noticing their questions show back up. I can see if they've turned in a question. Their answer comes back up for any questions that they have turned in. and I can see any attachments that they have attached come back up as well. 